Hello everyone, Gumball here and welcome back to Resonant Rise 3 Project Flux. So, um, uh, today I've got a few things planned, but, since oh you can see it in the corner of the screen, whoops. <laughs> since the last episode I've done a bit of building, you can see all these trees here, that giant hill is completely eradicated. Uh, also, I mentioned making a blacksmith for my uh, small tree and I've done that too. But uh, we've also made a house. So first you'll probably see the blacksmith when I change the camera. Uh, so I'll show that off first. Here we are. So I've got some cool uh, oak fences from the Garden Trees mod. Uh, and I've got here, uh, blacksmith's house is over there. We've got our small tree here. Uh, anvil, basic uh, tinker's stuff. Our small tree. Uh, and then head over here. Somehow there's a spider web, but I've just got a little bed. I will decorate this up in future. Uh, but this is a cool house for the uh, blacksmith. And around the back, down here, uh, I've not f finalized this room yet, but this is probably going to be our storage for uh, Grove Crafter drinks, which we'll make soon. But uh, the main thing that I built is the house. Can't believe I managed to hide that. <laughs> uh, this thing is massive. I Pardon me. I was basing it off uh, medieval style kind of manor house designs that I found on uh, Google Images. Uh, but I'm going to head in here. Now I haven't done any decoration yet. I'll probably might do that next episode. It's just a relaxing episode, but I've got some cool stuff today. Uh, here is like a dining room. Here's our living room. Over here is our kitchen, and this is going to house all our Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. Now, originally I wanted to make a brick oven here, but uh, fire spread, the way fire spreads, um, I wasn't able to do that. Uh, over here I have my staircase, and I've used uh, the soft, but uh, the smooth birch wood planks from the chisel mod, uh, which I'll show you a bit more later, uh, for my uh, flooring and my stairs. Yeah, I use carpenter stairs here. Uh, more chisel blocks on the walls. We have our first bedroom, which is where I've been sleeping. Got some cool artifacts I'll show you in a minute. Well, maybe. I'll make sure you later. Here's a, uh, another bedroom. A another bedroom. And over here is the bathroom. Now, I will probably change this floor. And then, if we head over here, we have the upper floor with our roof. Uh, we have all our storage and our cooking stuff at the moment. Crafting bench. Uh, this room's quite open because I think here we might eventually do applied energistics. And we've also got quite a nice view here. Um, also you might have noticed uh, on the second floor I have the bottom row of windows missing in a lot of places. I thought it would be cool to make them look kind of like open windows. But today, uh, today we will be getting into a mod that has interested me for a while and that is the uh, Flaxbeard Steam Power mod. Uh, here's my uh, nether portal. I haven't really got any diamonds, ah oh, yeah that brings me to uh, this, uh, I haven't got any diamonds yet but I did find a really cool tool, but uh, here's a cool quest in the Eternity section, uh, these are repeatable quests here, and uh, so we have this one, Zombie Hunter, you get 4 zombie heads, 69 and get some 16 stake, so that's very useful, just kill 16 zombies, and this you can redo over and over and over again. Same here, but with 16 gold, 16 bones, and then f either 4 wither skeleton schools or 4 skeleton schools. So, not too hard to get your wither uh, skeletons if you can't find like a fortress or something. And then the creeper one gives you 4 diamonds, 16 gunpowder, and 4 creeper heads, which kind of interests me. Uh, yeah, that you can get diamonds so easily if you just set up a creeper spawner, which is something we will definitely be doing soon. Oh, uh, I want to stay away from him. Yes. Uh, but here is my little uh, Flaxbeard steam power hut. Uh, we'll have a steam boiler on probably this side somewhere. I want to stay away from him uh, of the house because there is a multi-block later. But I have a few cool things to show off. So first, uh, first of all, uh, you want to make this book here, the esteemed innovation book. This is like your tutorial book for everything. To make that you just need a zinc ore, a copper ore, and a book. Uh, and this, this just contains all the information uh, on the mod, uh, pipes, how to do everything. But the first thing you really need in this mod is a crucible. And a crucible is made with four bricks. Uh, I've got one in this chest here. 
uh, and that uh, allows you to make brass using uh, copper ingots and zinc ingots. Uh, with the brass you can do multiple things, but I've managed to get a nether crucible, which is just seven nether brick. Um, I got these just from smelting netherrack after I went to the uh, nether, and this one uh, doesn't require a heat source underneath. Now, the normal one would require lava or fire, but uh, I decided just I wanted one that didn't need that. Um, so this enables you to make your stuff. Then you want your ingots to come out of this, and your nuggets, and eventually your plates uh, in the mod. And for that, you need a mold block, which is just six bricks. Uh, uh, let me break this. So here is what the mold block looks like when you place it down. And you can right click to shut it and open it. Uh, right click this to pour it and unpour it. And then you get your molds. So first thing you want to do is make a carving table. Uh, let's see, molds. <coughs> so the carving table is just some wood and a blank mold which if you look here is two bricks and then the blank molds you right click the carving table with so we've already got a plate one but this is how it works so you right click it and you go through the three different molds nugget ingot and plate mold uh, so here I want my plate one uh, you don't really need the nugget one I think because I think you can just do yeah you can just do this to get the nuggets so uh, that's much faster to pour them out <coughs> that way but yeah there you've got your carving table and then I'll grab my ingot mold, place it here. So you just pour, well, once you have uh, put your, uh, let's see, brass is one zinc and three copper. So put one zinc and three copper in here, we'll make uh, uh, four ingots of brass. And I think you can put, at a time, you can make about nine ingots of brass uh, before you have to get rid of some before you can put more. Uh, you close this, you pour it in. Once it's poured, it will uh, graphically show the brass uh, water, kind of, uh, liquid drop. And then you open this, and it will spit out the uh, ingot or plate or whatever. Uh, so that's how you do that. I would demonstrate it, but I have enough brass for now. Uh, so now, I think we should really get into some of the cool stuff of the mod. So first of all, we want to make... Well, we've made a boiler. Now this is what will let us uh, make steam. So let's grab our boiler. And at the moment we're not going to have the multi-block one, so we'll uh, just place it here in the middle of the room. And uh, so here you want to put your fuel, here you want to put your water bucket, so you, I believe you can right click. And this will use the coal or charcoal, or I think wood, along with the water to make steam. So let's go and grab... Sorry if there's too much talking here, it's very informative at the moment. Go and grab a bucket and some of our charcoal that I've been cooking up since last time. Uh, and I'm also hoping there's not too many trees in grass, too much grass here. Uh, it might be a bit over the top, but it's fine for now. Oh, and also, uh, yeah, I'm not great at sorting my chests, so everything's in a mess, uh, unfortunately. Uh, you'll look in here and you'll be like, what's this guy been doing? <laughs> Let's see, bucket, 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 bucket. You, ah, there we go, bucket. And... I know I have some charcoal in here. There we go, that should be enough for now. And we'll go and fill that up. Uh, these particle effects are being caused by the boots I'm wearing, actually. They have a jump boost when equipped. Uh, I'll show you more about the artifacts mod in the future. Uh, we'll want to sleep in a minute. Um, but let's quickly start making steam before we uh, head off to sleep. So let's put this in there and put a little bit of charcoal. Uh, get one more bucket and then hurry off to bed. Uh, I think we'll use the blacksmith's bed. It's got a cool furnace look to it. So while that makes steam, we will sleep. Uh, da, da, da. Before it gets too dark, hopefully. Shut the door, get rid of the spider web, and sleep. You can only sleep it. Yeah, this is from me trying to sleep last time. <laughs> uh, lots of fails. <laughs> and let's head over here, grab another bucket of water while we're on our way. 
and see what is up. Uh, put some more in there. And we're making steam. So with steam we can do a lot of stuff. Uh, first, you need to make pipes to transport the steam. So uh, that's what we use brass ingots for. And I think I'll make a few more of them. Um, graph image. Uh, one, two, and that will make eight for us along with these six that I have. I also have a steam gauge and a whistle. Uh, this is just uh, brass ingots, a nugget, and two pipes. And this is some nuggets around a compass. Uh, and let's see, I think we can check the steam levels on this by doing this. So this is the pressure. So we're at 30% pressure. So that's not bad. But when I think, I think when the steam pressure reaches 100, things can explode. So you want to be careful there. Ah, okay. That's uh, that's a good way of reducing the pressure actually. Uh, attach the pipes to it when it's not connected to anything. But we want to make to start off with a steam heater. So we need some copper nuggets, brass plates, pipe, and a furnace. Uh, I don't have any co cobble on me, but uh, let's grab the nuggets, pipe. Pardon me, and some brass here and here, and then we'll go and grab. Well, actually, no. Let's use one of these in here for now. Also, I've got silk touch on this pickaxe from uh, one of the quests, which was to make some uh, manulin. I found some cobalt and ardite in the Nether. Where is this quest? Tinker's construct. Almost in all of them. Yeah. Uh, get two iodide ore, two cobalt ore, and make uh, the ingots get some silky jewel. And then here, now this is a quest I really want to do because there's some awesome weapons here, but uh, <laughs> we need a lot of blocks. Uh, that's not going to happen for a while. Like We need two blocks of manulin and cobalt and ender pearls. So that's going to be a bit difficult, but let's see. We have our furnace, and here is a steam heater. Now this, if we look in the book, should let us, yeah, furnace, power furnace is using steam. So I want to come around the back. Skeleton's gone. Uh, grab one of these bricks. And I want to place the steam heater facing this way. And I want to pipe around the back. So let's put the pipes around to the... Oh, well, that's awkward. Um, dirt. Hop up here. Sorry, this is slightly boring. But, uh, I was so eager to get into this mod that I can't be doing too much learning on camera. <laughs> pipe. Grab this one. Oh, well, this costs a lot of pipe. And this is the center. And I think that's piping out, right? Yeah, that should be it. Just grab these bricks and uh, how can we tell? Is this does this light up? No. Uh, put a bit more coal. Grab some more water. Um, I'll probably set up like a water source. Or an Endryo reservoir. Can use one of them in the future, but let's grab a few buckets of water and let's see what can we smelt at the moment. Do we have anything to smelt? Uh, do you smelt these? Yes, you do. Let, let's just, let's attempt to smelt this. Can you smelt? No. So it's like the steam is not actually coming out. So let's try going out from the top because we know that works. Uh, go here. Um, here. 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 There. There. Is that working? Uh, Yes. Okay, we're now we're now powering on steam. That is great.
that is great news. So, we don't need to worry about getting as much charcoal. Um, what does the thing say? I think there's a way of hiding, <coughs> hiding the uh, pipes. Brass pipes are able to resist. Is there like some form of facade? I'm, I'm sure there is. Bits and bobs. Steam systems. Uh, pipe concealment. Here we go. Um, holding shift and right clicking on a pipe with a block will conceal it. So let's grab this. Ooh. Um, holding shift and right clicking. Does it have to be like a vanilla block? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, it has to be a normal Minecraft block. Hmm. That's annoying. Uh, we'll see in the future, but one thing we really need is something to better transport water. So... Let's see, how do you make the reservoir? Reservoir. Glass around a cauldron. That should be fine. Get some food. And see if we can make ourselves a reservoir. <coughs> uh, this time I'm not using Audacity, so I don't know if the volume's going to be quieter of the thing or of my voice. Uh, I mean of the game. On my voice. Uh, hopefully it's all right though, but uh, I couldn't get the audacity to line up very well. Though I did have a comment saying it wasn't too far off. Uh, oh wow, I've got tons of glass. Uh, glass and a cauldron. That's my iron here. It's seven. Uh, iron and glass. No. How'd you make a reservoir? That was glass around a cauldron, right? Glass around a cauldron. Cauldron glass. Um. No. Cauldron. Glass. Uh, okay. Maybe it's disabled. I don't know. Uh, so the other option I know is the aqueous accumulator. That's much more expensive. Uh, um, hmm. Maybe it's disabled because of crashes or something. Okay. Um, hmm. Weird. Definitely weird. Okay, uh, so... Let's just make a water source... Uh, e that's easier to get to, I guess. Uh, it won't look pretty, but... It will do the job for now. Head over here... And I think we'll just do it here this here and one more bucket will enable me to continuously fuel this which gives us a good smelting source uh, I know there is a way to transport water using something called an Archimedes screw where is this Archim Archimedes screw Archimedes, screw Archimedes, Archimedes. Here it is. Uh, create a way to move liquids into adjacent inventories. Placing and powering will move the liquid sources from the lower end on onto the higher end, allowing me to fill boilers and other tanks. That must have to be from like an actual tank. Okay, so if we did get an aqueous accumulator, we do that. But here's something I really want to get into: the exo suit. So we need to make an engineering table which will require some cobblestone and we have to sleep so we will sleep in our house 
and then we'll also make sure we're not missing anything else that we need. Um, let me grab the cobblestone first. Seven. Uh, seven cobblestone. Check. Go to sleep. And was that a zinc plate? And just take a drink. Or was that uh, another another plate? Oops. It was an iron plate. Okay, well we can make that quite easily. Uh, we've got some iron already there. We should just take one ingot, I believe. I hope. Uh, iron ingot. How's the pressure doing? 21%. There's only a bit of steam, so let's, uh, perfect time to demonstrate. Now, see here, usually you would need a heat source, but with this one you don't. Uh, and I want to grab the plate mold. Ah, oh, you can just replace it like that, that's nice. Close it, pour, and open. And then I can grab the remaining ingot. Oh wait, no, it's nine for an ingot. That's nuggets remaining. Uh, that's, that's fine. I will make our engineering table. Which we'll place here. Ah, and here we can edit the armor. Okay. And then we need... For the... Let's make the chest piece first. So, we need brass nuggets, plates, and pistons. So first, let's make some plates of brass. I've got it on me. Uh, one, two... Plates. Plate, plate, plate. Uh, close, pour. Uh, six. Oh yeah, perfect number. Does that pour? No. Oh, you have to have an empty hand, that's an important thing to remember. Open, close, pour. Open, close for now. And then we need uh, for the pistons. We need pistons. Ah, we need wood and cobble. I've got wood. I never have enough cobble. Uh, I'm not sure I've got any cobble left actually. So I'm going to quickly hop down here and uh, grab some cobblestone. This hammer is awesome. <coughs> oh, I didn't show you this last episode, actually. The hammer is a tool in Tinker's Construct that allows you to... Uh, uh, allows you to mine... blocks uh, in a 3x3, three three, just like the uh, excavator allows you to mine... well, dig dirt, in a, or gravel, or sand in a 3x3. Three so three. I don't think I showed you that, either. It should be high enough. One more block. There we go. Hopefully I can hop the whole way up. There we go. And wood I have on me. And... Uh, grab the wood. And these. And we want two, two pistons. So, piston. Um, it's weird. One, two. Uh, any eye thing me doesn't seem to be uh, working at the moment. Two pistons, uh, some brass nuggets, and some pipes. Do I have any left? No, I used. Did I use all the pipes? I don't think I used all the pipes. Uh, make a few more. Pistons and ingots. So that's the pistons, and then I think it's just the gauge we need now. Where's my book? There it is. Oop. For the exosuit, we need steam gauge and some nuggets. Uh, so let's make a compass. And got 
perfect amount of nuggets. Make a steam gauge. And we should be able to make the exosuit chest piece. Yes. There we go, first piece of armor. Uh kind of weighed us down, I think. Oh, does that slow us? And if I take that off? Yeah, it does. Ha. Huh. That's interesting to note. Has some weight on it. Hmm. Uh, it's probably a way to counter that. Uh, what does the rest of the armor need? The rest of the armor needs more pistons. We need two, four, six pistons. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine plates. So, um, I'll quickly make the rest of what we need to save time. Uh, we'll get back, and I'll also possibly make a few gadgets with the exosuit, and we'll try it out, hopefully. But we will need more steam, so I'll be right back. And I'm back, and I have made the rest of the suit, which also doesn't go very well with my skin. It cuts my eyes off and my mouth, but yeah. Uh, so I made the rest of the suit, and it kind of gives you this slowness effect. And when you head over to the engineering table, uh, this will usually be empty. This will be like uh, this. And so from the back, it will look like this. And then what you need to do is make a steam tank, or one of the better tanks, which is just some brass ingots in a... Uh, donut shape and stick it in and now we can fill it with steam now I've made a few things here this currently isn't active though now now I can work on that let's hop down here hopefully have enough piping ah yes enough uh, can I get out no I cannot uh, there we go and now when we stand on the filling pad, we get this cool looking animation, and this should start filling us with steam. Oh, and now we've got more of a speed boost than a uh, slowdown effect. Now we don't have much steam here. Oh, I can reach. But we have enough coal, so let's bring up the pressure in the uh, thing. This should keep giving us steam. And in here, I've started making a steam jetpack. Uh, if you didn't see it, it's quite simple to make. Just a gauge, an ingot or a plate, and then uh, five pipes. And we'll head over to our engineering table. And uh, place in our jetpack on this back slot. And now we have a jetpack. I could fill this up a bit more. I'd say that's for enough. Uh, that's enough for now. And we can fly! Now I think... Yeah, you can take full damage from this, so it's better just to land in the water. But, uh... We are gonna make... Ah, no, okay, if you land slowly, then it's fine. Okay. Uh, we're going to make now, I think, on the feet... Slot... Foot slot... There should be a slow... Not this one, heel slot, here we go. Slime balls, leather boots, and brass pistons. Uh, let's go see if we have any slime balls. Oh wow, this thing goes up fast. Ooh well. Uh, I think we might make a uh, glider from open box as well if we've got enough leather. Uh, do we have any leather actually? We might not be able to make these uh, boots. This boot upgrade. Let's see, leather. Uh, da, 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 da. We have saddles. Um, one leather. Is that it? Hmm. Do we have a. Uh, oh! Woven cloth. String. Is that the only recipe? Okay, how much string do I have? I did just throw some away earlier. String. Um, we might have to put this off for now. Ah, here, here's a little bit of string. Not enough though. Okay, well we'll have to put the boots off for now. Because that's nowhere near enough. Just put these in here. This is what I mean by disorganized. I just kind of chuck the stuff everywhere. 
so what else can we make for this? So for this exosuit we can make plates. Uh, these are what may give it some special abilities, but can we make any for now? We can make the copper one, and this one protects from explosive damage. The iron is better against skeletons. Brass is good. Uh, ah, that's good for heat, so if you go into fire or lava you have a little bit of protection for a bit. Um, experience is maybe, I'm assuming, doubled when you get the gold one. Lead is good against knockback. Vibrant. Uh, when I reach low health I have a chance to dodge damage and teleport. That's pretty cool. Enderium, we're nowhere near. Formium, we can't do. Terra Steel, we can't do. Uh, and we can't do any of these. So I think I want to do the iron one because skeletons are really annoying. So th let's make an iron plate. Um, and what else can we do? Uh, vanity slot. Ah, we can dye it. I might do a black one. Uh, actually, no, red. Do we have any roses? They're called poppies in this, right? Poppy in Minecraft, but it's rose red, yeah. Poppy, poppy, poppy. Probably some poppies. Uh, probably got some outside from where I burn all that grass. Ooh. Ah, here we go. We've got some poppies. Uh, three is three enough. I need four. Uh, anything else? Helmet slot. Okay, this is stuff we'll get to later. Oh, actually, I might have some wool. You might be able to. I should have quite a bit of wool. I should. Some sheep. Um, yeah. Black wool three. Let's add a bit of black dye to that. One here. Four. Oh, we need one more. Five. Make ourselves a top hat. And we'll see if that can go on in a sec. And it's time to sleep. So we can put the top hat, we'll put the dyes on. And what was the other thing we said we would do? Ah, yeah, we uh, make an iron plate. But first we must sleep. Warped zombie was pummeled by armst, uh, uh, armst, armed skeleton. Uh, I need to put a texture in these doors and pressure plates, actually. Uh, I just haven't bothered to do that yet. Here we go, rose red. Uh, I think there might be a problem at the moment with the top hat, though. Like, it doesn't show up on the exosuit. Uh, so I don't know if that affects it in any way, maybe. Uh, let's head over to here. Let's put the top hat on there. And does this work? No, we don't have a top hat. Hmm. But we can see our jetpack here. And our tank. That's kind of cool. Ooh, don't want to go on Twitch at the moment. Uh, and let's see. Is it this slot? Ah, yes. We can dye everything red. Can you plate all the pieces? Yeah, we only need four iron plates. So let's, uh, let's see what this looks like. Oh, we've got some cool red armor, but the jetpack doesn't change annoyingly. Uh, we'll leave it red for now. Oops. Uh, uh. uh let's see, we have one... No, we need... How do you make these iron plates? We need four, eight, twelve, sixteen... ...of these. Uh, let's throw them all in there for now. And we want plates. Uh, one iron plate. Uh, oh, yeah, it has to be an empty hand. Two. Hopefully, this episode isn't too boring. I'm actually really enjoying this, though. <laughs> uh, we'll also get into this steam filler later on. Uh, next episode, I think we'll be decorating the house, uh, like I suggested. Ah, let's let's see now. We'll make an iron plate. Exosuit effect projectile projection. And let's see, let's put it on here. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Ah, and so now, it's uh, like a full-on armor. That's that's cool. Um, I'll charge this up while pouring it, actually. Uh. Open. Ah, okay. This is kind of awkward. 
Ah, I can't read you, okay, forget that. <laughs> uh, this steam filler is used for tools. Uh, let's make that pour another one. What else do we have? Mask slot. Ah, mask of revealing. We'll probably get one of them. This will give us a thorncraft integration. Back slot, jetpack. I don't want the wings because we'll make a glider instead. Uh, that sounds like a better option. Some really cool stuff in this mod. Uh, never, never, ever, ever played with this mod before. So, this is uh, one of the main reasons I wanted to try it out. Just because it was something new for me. Something to learn. Okay, now, what does this look like? Oh, it just affects the back and the sides. Okay. We'll have to put more steam in here. Painted red. <laughs> it's kind of cool it puts that in the text. And you can get two more. Oh wow, I I thought I put sixteen in there. Oh no, we can get four more plates. Never mind. Uh legs. Got some cool leg plating and let's let's sort our feet out. Get some cool shoes. Hmm. So yeah, I miscalculated. I need if I put an iron ingot in there. Need one more. Uh, pour that and pour that, and we'll have one plate left over. One plate's worth, and now we can put our boots here. And we should be fully geared up. Now we look ridiculous. If only my skin worked. <laughs> <laughs> Might edit my skin just for this. But yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Uh, so let's stand over here and charge up a little bit. Uh, and while we wait, we'll look in the book. So in the vanity slot, it was just dyes. There's also the ender shroud, uh, which can make parts of the body invisible. So you can show the skin and stay protected. I might do that on the helmet, actually. Uh, helmet slot. We can have a. Uh, this is do with Britannia, so we can't do that at the moment. And we have our top hat. And there's the emerald one, which will be good for trading. We'll uh, see that later. Back slot we've done. Okay. The arm slot, we can have a power fist, which can give a real, really strong punch. Uh, I might stick with a sword, though, to save having to do that. The extender fist allows you to reach further. And the pit and deployer allows you to hang on to walls. Uh, we might make the ex extender fist now, actually. It just takes some iron ingots and some nuggets. So let's see what the extender fist can do. Uh, I can reach. Put our armor in there. Uh, grab our extender fist. Now, how do we use our extender fist? Oh, it looks amazing, though. Oh, that's cool. The, the, the uh, models on this is... This is amazing. So to use the extender fist, I found a way to using a series of doing it. I call it as long as I oh, so I can just reach further. Could I usually reach this door? Let me. Oh no, I couldn't. Okay. But with this on, I can. Yeah, that's cool. That that could prove useful. The hip slot thrusters. These thrusters will increase my air movement speed. Uh, this lets me jump further and fly faster when using a jetpack. Some brass, some pipes. Do I have the stuff? Unfortunately, no. The leg slot, we can have some uh, speed. And... Uh, we don't really want this one, but we might get the speed. That could prove useful. Heel slot, we... Uh, oh, what does this one do? This allows me to launch myself with more force than usual. Crouching and jumping will launch me in the direction I'm looking. Or, we can do these for the full assist. We might do the full assist. And then the foot slot, we have a pulse nozzle. Um, the pulse nozzle lets me shoot a controlled burst of steam in midair, propelling me upward much like a double jump, but then that will negate the effects of it. That will completely make the effects of the uh, jetpack pointless then, won't it? 
So let me grab my bucket. And we'll make more steam. Uh, oh, didn't want to do that. Uh, oh, this uh, being able to extend further is really useful, actually. Oh, whoops. And charge up some more. Get a nice bit of steam going. We can put this stuff away in here. Wow, well, my uh, inventory is a mess as well. I've got a cobalt pickaxe head, which I'll be using to make a cool pick in the future. Um, this is filling up nicely. Oh, whoops. Why did it do that? It says control, click. Oh, but it does that because of the NEI. Okay, let me get rid of that. Oh, in here I can see my eyes. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, so we've made ourselves a really uh, cool looking exosuit. Um, what else is in the mod? Ooh, that's not what I was meant to do. We also have some uh, item kind of tools. No, I mean like blocks that can do some cool stuff. Oh, this can let us connect with other mods. So, uh, while plenty of my gadgets are built to handle the high pressure of steam, other technology might not be able to. This device allows conduits to pull less dense steam fluid from my network or less dense steam back in as an alternative to manually accepting. So does this allow me to um allows conduits to pause. Oh so this should allow me to make power um for wait allow me to use the steam uh with other mods I think. So how do we make this? Ah, leather. We're gonna have to make a cow farm. Tinkerer's headwear. We don't need these. Pipe wrench we've got. Steam tools. Ah, this is interesting. A steam drill. A steam saw. And a steam shovel. Following the success of my rock smasher and thumper, I ventured to make more portable versions of these rock breaking tools. Finally my work has come to fruition in the form of the steam drill, saw and shovel. These three tools can be filled with steam and do not break. They must be spun in order to be used effectively. Right clicking while holding it will spin it up using steam and s and speed up the tool. Unlike normal tools, mining itself does not use steam. Ah! Okay, so I'll make, I think... So I'm back and I just realized that we've come near the end of the episode. But I have put a tiny, tiny little bit of steam in uh, the um, in the tools. I made the tools, uh, and we're going to test them out. Now, they're probably not going to be as good as our Tinker's tools, but uh, they were definitely harder to get hold of. So, what we do is we right-click to charge it up, and then... Uh, oh, wow, this is pretty fast, though. It might actually be better than the Tinker's tools for the small tree in this case. Like, the lumber axe takes a while to cut through. This is really good, actually. So I re I'm really liking this uh, saw already. Let's try the shovel. Let's charge up the shovel. Uh, yeah, they're pretty good. I think better Tinker's tools uh, than the ones I've got would prove to be uh, much better, but these are pretty cool. Uh, I think I like them more just because they look cooler and have a bit more of a charge on them. A bit more of a cost or a payment to get to. But yeah, now let's try the steam drill. Uh, try it down here. And uh, yeah, let's try it on something from a, another mod. That's pretty fast on the coal there. Uh, yeah, I think it would be the same mining level as iron, so it should be able to mine diamonds. Uh, what about on stuff like zinc ore? Hmm. It's not the right tool. I think my pickaxe would be better due to the fact that it's like a steel pickaxe. But, uh. Yeah. These tools are pretty cool. So, um. Also, I can now get out of the ravine by flying. But, yeah, get, getting enough steam seems to want to take a while. Uh. Let's try it on the, these. 
Yeah, it goes much faster the more charged it is. Uh, but the charge doesn't last forever, so like, if I keep mining here, we'll see that this should start to get slower. Okay, well, <laughs> forget that. Uh, oh look, I've still got a block here on my roof. I have to fix that. Let me grab my uh, saw, charge it up with the tiniest amount of steam that's left on it, and get this spruce wood plank block, maybe? Possibly? Did it break or not? Oh, it must have... Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know if that was lag or uh, something, but yeah. So, uh, those are the tools, and that's the exosuit. Uh, so we actually got more done this episode than I expected. There were a lot of Flaxbeard stuff done. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, next time we'll probably do some decorating, like I said, we might do something else. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!